feather this Cliff Rosa, and I just want to explain what to do if your Blackmagic Design ATEM Television Studio switcher loses power and all of its settings get set back to their defaults. You can see this, uh, this one right here is in that situation where everything is back on its defaults. You know, there's no, no settings that are the same as how we set them for the training and so forth. So if that's, uh, you know, you know, audio is just not right. So uh, rather than going back and setting all of those, which I do train you how to do in, in my training, uh, what you can do is, uh, if you had them right at one point in the past, you go to File, and that first choice there is Restore, right? And usually you find your restore. Uh, the autosave is going to be in by default documents, ATEM autosave. And then see, you see a number of dates here. Well, let me see. I believe the training that I did was uh, back on the 12th. So let's go back to the 12th. And I'm going to choose one of the last settings there. I'm going to click restore. And it says all these settings. Yep, let's, let's do those settings. You can see right away, we've got all of our settings are coming back. It's clicking, it says it's restoring. Right down here, 29% complete to 47%. Typically what takes the longest is putting all of the uh, media pool images back. The audio settings are back now. So that's how you restore uh, settings if your uh, switcher has lost power. Okay, with that, this is Cliff Rosa with rosamediaproductions.com. And uh, let me know if you have any other questions about the ATEM uh, Television Studio uh, switcher or your school broadcast studio. Uh, all right, take care.